What's going on, A Push Peace? We have video number 10 for you today. This one is on slavery in the British colonies and slave resistance. This is the final video for period number two. When we're done with this, you'll be 15% done with A Push curriculum. Let's give a shout out to Mr. Keating's class at Fountain Hills High School. Thank you so much for the support. Best of luck this year. All right, so why did all the British colonies engage in slavery? I can't stress this enough. A lot of people think that slavery just existed in the South. It did not. All of the 13 colonies engaged in slavery. Now, this is a great short answer question or essay topic about the growth of slavery. There are a couple reasons why all the British colonies engaged in slavery. There are large amounts of land, particularly in the South, that needed lots of laborers to work. There's also European demand for colonial goods. Star, circle, underline, highlight this bad boy. You must know that. And the most popular good that was grown in the South during this time was tobacco, especially in the Chesapeake. Also, there's a shortage of indentured servants post Bacon's Rebellion in 1676. We've talked about that quite a bit. And also, many indentured servants refused to work in harsh conditions of the Deep South and the West Indies. So there was a lack of indentured servants to come over from England so a lot of plantation owners switched to African slavery again post Bacon's Rebellion in 1676. Now, where was slavery found in the British colonies? Again, all 13, but specifically within each region, we'll break them down. In New England, they were found on small New England farms and also port cities, both in New England and in the middle county cities like New York City. In the south, you found them in port cities like Charleston. Plantations in the Chesapeake and the South had a large number of African slaves. And again, what two colonies were part of the Chesapeake? You know it. Come on, think about it. Yeah, you got it, you little genius. It's Maryland and Virginia. Very good. And most African slaves were sent to the West Indies. Okay, so what are the effects of an increase of slavery? Well, we have an emergence of a strict racial system where unfortunately people of African descent will be on the bottom. Many states will pass laws that prohibit interracial relationships. You can contrast that with the Spanish colonies, which did allow interracial relationships. And slavery was based on the mother's status. So if the mother was a slave, the child of that mother would automatically be slaves, regardless of who the father was. Now, jumping over to slave resistance, there's a couple different methods you should be familiar with. The first are overt methods such as rebellion. These are going to be less common than covert methods, but an example of a rebellion is the Stono Rebellion from 1739 in South Carolina. Slaves killed whites. This was an uprising where slaves killed whites and they tried to flee to Spanish Florida located right down here. So Stono is happening right about over here-ish on the map and they try to flee to Spanish Florida, these slaves where they would be free. As a result of this, and really all slave rebellions, harsher slave laws and restrictions will emerge. So all slaves will be punished for rebellions and more strict laws will emerge to regulate their behavior even further. Now, covert methods also developed. These were more common. These examples of covert methods were breaking tools, running away, working slowly, and faking illness. So be familiar with overt methods such as rebellion or violence and covert methods Things like breaking tools, running away, working slowly. Okay, so how did Africans preserve some autonomy? They did so through family structures. You have surrogate families for slaves that were sold, where if a slave is sold to another plantation, that slave will be taken care of by the slaves on that plantation. Culture, we see the emergence of language and music, which plays a huge role in slave life. And religion we see a combining elements of African religions with Christianity. All right, let's do a quick recap. Reasons for the growth of slavery slash participation in the slave trade. Those were from the first slide. Be familiar with them. Where did slavery occur in the British colonies? How did slaves overtly resist their situation? How did they covertly resist their situation? How did Africans preserve some forms of autonomy? And that is it for period two. Congratulations, you are done. I look forward to seeing you back here for the first video of period three, video number 11, the Seven Years' War, also known as the French and Indian War, and its impact. Thank you for watching. Best of luck and have a good day.